Daytime baseball here on MLB Network. Today, game three of this four-game series between the Detroit Tigers and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Live baseball here on MLB Network, and it comes your way next. Andrew Heaney gets the ball in game three of the series. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Andrew Haney, I love this guy from the left side. Not afraid to throw strikes. Like a lot of lefties, inconsistency with the strike zone is the major problem. But if he's getting his breaking stuff over, look out. He can shut just about anybody down. Good, solid pitcher that's getting better with more experience. And now, Victor Reyes. And we are ready for some daytime baseball. Here it comes on one and one. There's a swing and a ball lifted to left, but back in the seats out of play. It's one and two. Very nice afternoon, high skies and 77 degrees at game time. Here comes the one two. He's at the knees and called strike three. Second. The third baseman. Next for the Tigers, Harold, Harold Castro, Castro, hoping to stay hot. He had a couple of hits, including a home run yesterday. One out, nobody on. Tapped out in front of home. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. Batting third. The With that, let's get you a look at the starting nine for Castro. the Tigers. Dan, who do we keep an eye on? Matt, they're looking to get a lot more out of Nomar Mazzara. He's coming off a month where he hit in the low 200s. I mean, he barely put up any resistance at all. That's not what you expect for him, and I'm sure he's working hard to try to figure it out and turn things around. So now here is Willie Castro. He enters play sixth in the American League in the batting race. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. And a great diving effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but the they always base. say with your man coming Jonathan. up, the number four-hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position. Stepping in now, Jonathan Scope. Two and one. These Angels, as they enter play here this afternoon, fellas, they look to make it three straight here as they come in on the heels of two straight wins. Yeah, Maddie, we had a saying in Texas, hit or get left behind. And that's exactly what this team did in their last game. Scored a bunch of runs, but good approach at the plate, working the ball to all gaps, line to line. This team swung the bats well. I'm going to be looking for that again in this one. Now, this pitcher's feeling the flow right now. Two outs in the first inning. He's got really nice mechanics working right now. Blew that fastball right by him. This has popped up. Rendon has a play. And he's got it for the final out of the frame. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. Tigers nothing. Angels do up. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Michael Fulmer gets the starting nod for the Tigers in this one. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, this guy's done a real good job on the year keeping the opponent's batting average down. Both righties and lefties coming into this one, hitting under 250 against this guy. He's been good all season long. Striding in is David Fletcher. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Now the one and one pitch. In the right field, that's a base hit. 
Many guys fall victim to the breaking ball and want to get out in front of it, and they end up rolling it over to the pull side. Batter was able to execute, stay inside, keep his hands back, and drive it the other way. At the plate, Shohei Otani. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Got him with a good high fastball there. Danny, we see a lot of that pitch in strikeout situations these days. What makes it so effective? I think, Matt, what makes it such a tough pitch is you're changing wow. high levels. That fastball up looks so enticing to hit that you think you see that ball as a hitter. Do you think you can drive it? But it's really hard to get on top of that good high hard fastball. Fletcher stands at first with one out. And he misses again, ball three. So, fellas, these Tigers, as they begin play here today, they came out on the losing end last time out and are in a bit of a skid. In fact, they've lost seven of their last ten. Yeah, guys, anytime you start a road trip, first five games you start one and four, you're just trying to salvage. Do the fundamental things right. Try and sneak out a couple wins, get on the plane, and get out of here. Full count, three balls and two strikes to the Angels' center fielder. Hard hit ball to short. And that's through for a hit. Sometimes you got to tip your cap. The pitcher spotted that his pitch cool. down the zone right there, the below the knee. Man. Offensive Anthony. player was all over it. Red zone. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Anthony Rendon come up big in spots like this more than once this year currently second in the AL in RBIs yeah but we really can't be surprised by that right no doubt he's one of the best all around talents in the sport today first and second now one man out lifted in the air toward the line and right Mazzara's on his horse and that's going to land foul Another try at 2-2. And here's a ball hit in the air. And no one will track it down. He appears to be having some issues with pitch command to start the game. He's dealing with two guys on, and that last pitch looked like a big mistake in that location. Right down the middle, but he got away with it. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he'll lay out to make a spectacular catch. Wow. The throw is wild, and he gets away. But they'll catch a break as the runners are going to stay where they are here as there's no advance. In now, Justin Upton. And Upton lays off again, and he's in control of the count. It's three and one. Three and one here. You have to make a good pitch on the mound. Grooving one here rarely works in your favor unless the hitter tries to do too much with it. And he misses with it for ball four. So the bases will be loaded now with two away. I'll tell you, he's looked unsteady out there since the first pitch he threw. A couple of hits and a free pass, so he's really searching for an answer to get back on track. We'll see if he can settle down here. So next to hit is Jared Walsh. Certainly a big moment in this game. Bases loaded, tie score. Looked like he was on that one, but it's one and two. Definitely a big pitch coming up right here. He's going to be pumped if he can work his way out of this inning with the game still tied. Next pitch will be number 24 in this long first inning. To two balls and two strikes now. We just saw a fastball right there. I would not be shocked if he tries to get this guy to go fishing right here and drops a little off-speed pitch in the dirt. Into the corner and slicing foul. The 2-2 pitch. And he comes back to get him. So a great job pitching out of it with the bases loaded. Angels threaten, but leave him loaded. Still no score. All set for the start of the inning, and standing in is the DH, Renato Nunez. 
from the windup, the 1 1 pitch. And a good pitch there as this ball swung on and popped straight up the chute right around home plate. And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. That exists. Time for a look at the Angels on defense. And let's focus our attention on one of the most dynamic defenders in our sport, and that's shortstop Jose Iglesias. I want to tell one of our camera guys, do not take your lens off this guy because he is going to make a highlight reel play every game, and I guarantee something goes down today. So now to the plate, Nomar Mazzara, and it's fouled away. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. Looked like he might have gotten squeezed a little bit right there, and you know he's talking to himself in his head about it. That kind of stuff goes both ways, though. Hitters get their fair share of crummy calls going against them, too. To the plate now, Miguel Cabrera. And here's a curveball that's laid off that time. It's full three and two. We could see the runner in motion here on a three two count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at. And if not, it's ball four anyways. Did well just to make contact there as he spoils off a good changeup. A payoff pitch one more time. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. In a double play situation, you kind of expect most pitches to be down to the zone, hoping for a ground ball. So that was an interesting pitch selection to go up in the zone. I think he caught him off guard a little bit. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. Mazzara leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Swing and a miss, and that's out number three. Tigers leave one. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next to hit is the catcher, Max Stassi. Payoff pitch home. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. And don't forget, he lost his last time out, so he wants to get off on the right foot here. The last thing he wanted was to walk the leadoff man. So now to the plate, Jose Iglesias. And as you check out his righty lefty splits, no surprise that he hits better against southpaws than he does against right handers. One two it is a fastball in off the plate for a ball. Grounded back up the middle. Scope towards second. He's got it on to first. And as Ernie may have said, it's two for the price of one for the Tigers. Two away. It's hard to do anything with a pitch like that that's below the zone. And if you do do anything with it, most of the time, this will be the result, a double play on a good pitch down in the zone. At the plate now, Dexter Fowler. And it's to two and two now with the bases empty and two gone here in the inning. Well, he's waiting on the breaking ball there and sends it to deep right field. And that one is gone on a two-strike count with two away in the inning. A solo home run there for Dexter Fowler. Home run number five on the year as the Angels take a one-to-nothing lead. I 
guess the pitchers haven't been talking in the dugout because it looks like they've learned nothing about this guy. He's torched them for four home runs this series, and they're still giving him pitches to hit. Stepping in now, David Fletcher. Oh, not cheated on that one. It's two and two. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. That pitch was way down on two and two, but give the hitter some credit there. Sometimes with two strikes, you're more off to expand the strike zone, but he didn't and held off. And the third baseman makes the play. That ends the inning. Angels hit the board first thanks to this solo home run. We've played two, and the Angels lead it here one nothing. Now to bat, Ronnie Freeman, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. The 1-1. One, one. Hit in the air down the right field line. On the move is Fowler, but no, this will no, land no. untouched. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. I tried to backdoor him there, but it's a full count now, three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Popped up. Stasi shading to his right, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. And before we get much further, time for a look at the standings entering play today as you see where the Angels find themselves in the American League West. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Victor Reyes, 0 for 1 here in the early going. Here comes the 1 2. Misses, ball 2. Bases are empty, one man out. A full count, three and two to the Tigers' center fielder. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2 2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. Rendon down at third. Throw gets him, two down. Now batting, third baseman, Carol Castro. Next up, Harold Castro. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 3 2 pitch. Swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. Down in order go the Tigers. They're on the short end of a one to nothing score. Welcome back to Anaheim as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Next up, the two-way Japanese import, Shohei Otani. He'll start it out against Michael Fulmer to begin the inning. Now the one and one pitch. Started to go around there. Looked like he held up in time. No, strike two, says the third base umpire. The one and two pitch. Here is a ground ball now for the shortstop to the right of second. Throw on to first in time, one away. 
well executed two seamer on the outside corner that time and and that's what you'll get a lot of with that pitch he rolled right over it into the box Mike Trout a little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating, feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. -back. Into the windup, here comes the 2-2 pitch. And he popped him up. Cabrera over to his right, two down. Now batting, third baseman, Anthony. Rendon. Ready now is Anthony Rendon. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. The MO of this pitcher in the early going is certainly establishing the inside part of the plate. He has been dominant. Sometimes you just got to tip your hat. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Angels go down one, two, three, but they're up one to nothing. Leading off the inning, it'll be Willie Castro as they'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Now the three and two pitch. Hot shot down the line. And this will stay inside the third base bag. A fair ball. The relay. But it won't be in time, and it's a leadoff double. So he's into scoring position here on that double that kicks off the fourth inning. And as you can see there on the team leaderboard, he's currently pacing the club here as we approach the midway point of the season. At the plate, Jonathan Scope skied into straightaway right. Fowler has a read on it. He makes the catch, and tagging is the runner from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So stepping in is Renato Nunez, trying to bring in the tying run from third here. Now a drive out to the gap in right center. In to score is the runner from third. It's one to one. And he is in the second base with an RBI double. The pitcher was spotting his pitches effectively until now, working the edges, painting the corners, but he left this one right over the plate, and it cost him with an RBI extra base hit right there. So now to the plate, Nomar Mazzara. And he misses two and one. Nunez leads off second with one gone in the inning. Two and two. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Two two one more time. Grounded to the right, scooped up. Only play will be to the pitcher covering, and the runner will advance to third now. Now batting the first baseman, Miguel Cabrera. Digging in next, Miguel Cabrera looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Both clubs with three hits in the ballgame. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. 
Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. Grounded to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Tigers strike for a run on this RBI double. Bottom of the fourth coming up. All even now at 1-1. One, one. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Justin Upton. A 1-1 one, one now to Upton. Nope. Tries to change up on him there, but it's a ball, two and one. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Now the two one. Takes a pass and misses. That's strike oh, two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline in that. You get a count in your favor and you swing at a pitch that bad, not good. Fouled off. The 2 2 one more time. Lined into right, a base hit. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Standing in now, Jared Walsh. All even now, two and two. Looking to punch him out again. The pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an or. The strikeout and there's one gone. So with a runner at first and one gone. Time to bring in our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And you can see that both guys are well into the 90s. 95 on one hand and just two miles an hour slower on the other. One out. Runner at first. And the catcher Max Stassi will be the next to bat. Ball and two strikes to the Angels catcher. Yeah, guys, he's got so much respect for this guy's fastball, you could tell he was out in front on that slider. I think he goes to the well one more time with that pitch. Two balls and two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Jose Iglesias, the number eight hitter here, waits on deck. Rolled slowly down the first baseline. And he won't even try it at second as he flips to the pitcher covering to get the shoer out. Now batting, shortstop, Jose Iglesias. Into the box, Jose Iglesias. One run, four hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. For the guy on the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. He set the payoff pitch. 
This is line to left. He's under it, and that ends the inning. Angels strand one. Fifth inning coming up, tied at one. Welcome back. Heidi Watney standing by as we get set for the top of the fifth. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with the Tigers manager to discuss his thoughts on Detroit's offense. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. He said it feels like every at-bat has been an incredible battle, full count after full count. And he said eventually that absolutely wears the pitchers out on the other side, which should result in more offense for them as the game progresses. All right, thanks, Heidi. New inning set to get underway, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Jacoby Jones. Here comes the one two. Fouled away. Here's another one two. A breaking ball swung on and missed and he set down for the second time this afternoon. Now with the plate Ronnie Freeman popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. Line drive to left. And that's a base hit one for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Number nine batter comes through that time as it'll now be up to the top of the order with okay. one away. The center field. Victor Reyes. At the plate now Victor Reyes sent on the ground out to second and that's through for his first base hit in this one. He'll hold it second and there are two aboard now. You know, Dero, the old school thinking sometimes is when you're going through a bad streak like this guy, any way you can get on a little jam shot, even though it wasn't pretty, maybe this could get this guy finally going. Yeah, I can't tell you how good that had to feel right there. There's moments where you slap that donut off your bat, you don't even want to walk to home plate. You're scuffling so bad. This one's down to third. Oh, a diving effort as it's off his glove. But the recovery will come too late, and the bases are loaded now. To the plate now, Willie Castro. Liner in there for a base hit. Notch one in the score column as the runner from third crosses the plate. Boy, that has to feel good as a hitter, D. Roy. Get that base hit to give your team the lead. You have to feel good when you get down to first base. Yeah, it's just a nice approach. You see him turn to his boys right there and get fired up with the dugout. 100%, not trying to do too much, able to quiet the moment down, center himself, and come through in a big spot. On his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden, and it would appear he's seen enough of his starter this afternoon. So he'll make his way to the dugout after working just four and a third, and he just didn't have his best stuff in this one. Taylor Cole is called upon to pitch, really needing that double play ball. Bases are loaded here with only one man out. Into the box, Jonathan Scope, and he fouls this one off. Working for the punch out and the offering. Again, he sends it out of play. And it's fouled away. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. Here he comes again, one, two. 
fouled off. A line shot to third base. Now batting, the designated hitter, Renato Nunez. And here's Renato Nunez. Ready with the 1-1. One, one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's 1-2. and two. I never found myself on the mound in the big leagues, but it must be nice to be able to go to that good, hard fastball when you're in a jam. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Outside and low that time. Now it's two balls and two strikes. Two runs, seven hits, and no errors in the ballgame for the Tigers. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. On to first, and that'll do it as they manage to not let this inning get out of hand. Tigers get just the one. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Dexter Fowler. Yeah, not fooled by that breaking ball in his last A-B at all. He jumped all over it. It's such a good feeling as a hitter when you know you're picking up the secondary stuff right out of the pitcher's hands. Some action now in the Tigers' bullpen as they'll get a left-hander and a right-hander up to throw. And this is on the inside edge, perhaps off the inside edge, but it's a called strike two and two now. Pitch on the way. Now a ball lined toward the alley in left center. Jones arranged to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the first down. Boy, sometimes they say you hit it hard, good things will happen. Well, that's not the case right there. That was a bullet that just stayed up, and it's caught in the outfield. At the plate, David Fletcher. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' leadoff hitter. Fifth inning, 2-1 to one our score. Popped him up. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. Now back, the designated hitter, Shohei Otani. Now it'll be Shohei Otani. No hits to this point. The 1-1 one -one home. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Jones is underneath this one and that will retire the side angels are gone in order they still trail it here two to one top half of the sixth about to get started and digging in is the outfielder Nomar Mazzara. Changeup gets him out in front for strike two. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Nearly a big fly to start the inning instead of foul ball. Just not able to let that breaking ball travel enough right there. You could see his eyes light up when that popped out of the pitcher's hands and he just hooked it foul. Three and two now. Bouncer to the left side, fielded by Rendon. And the throw on to first will take care of him, so he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Here 
Now at the plate is Miguel Cabrera. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. Low scoring game thus far, 2 to 1 here in the sixth. Heading out towards shallow right. Fowler has a read on it. Two gone. Now batting, left fielder, Jacoby Jones. Next to stand in is Jacoby Jones, struck out in his last trip to the plate. Yeah, Matty, big time K last time up, and it's been a tough series for him so far. You can tell he's just not seeing the ball off this team. Let's see if he can make an adjustment right here. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. Reined in. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for Detroit. They still lead it two to one. Bottom of the inning now, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Mike Trout. Into the windup, here's the two and one pitch. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. Looking up is the left fielder, and it's gone. It's a solo home run here for Mike Trout. Home run number 15 for him thus far, as the Angels have come back to tie things at two. Well, if you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. Stepping in now, Anthony Rendon. Hit in the air to straightaway center. Reyes is under this one, and he puts it away for the first down. The left fielder, number 10, Justin Upton. Ready now for L.A., Justin Upton singled in his last at-bat. One out, nobody on. Hit on the ground to third. On to first, and there were two down. Now batting, the first baseman, Jared Walsh. So next to bat will be Jared Walsh. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Lifted the other way to left center. Jones able to track it down for the third out. Angels strike for one, and it comes on this solo home run. The nine one and two hitters do up to start the seventh, and we're deadlocked now at two apiece. Patrick Sandoval will come on and make his fourth appearance in this campaign. Stepping in once again is Ronnie Freeman. He's one for two in this one. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Fouled away. Swing and a liner. Upton has him played perfectly as he puts it away for out number one. I know they say sometimes that these things even out, 
but that was a bullet line drive that gets caught. He would have represented the go-ahead run. Standing in now, Victor Reyes. Almost got him to go around, but instead it's three ball, ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. To the left side, but it's well foul. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Up next to the Tigers, the third baseman. So the next to bat Castro. will be Harold Castro. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Before the delivery, a check on that go ahead run at first. And he just manages to get his hand in. The 1 2 he is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. This pitching staff has done a really good job against this guy in this series. This is a really good hitter, and it's not easy to make a guy strike out five times in a series up to this point, but that's what they've done to this guy so far. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. Tiger shortstop with a ball and two strikes. Ran one in there as this is hit on the ground towards second. Scooped up on the first, and this will remain a tie ball game as the inning is over. One left for Detroit, and this game is still tied at two and two. Julio Tehran will take over on the mound to start the bottom of the seventh. Now into the box, Max Stassi comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Tehran sets. Here's the 1 1. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide at first. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Leading off the inning, your job is to get on base and set the table for the inning. Now that was a pretty good four. at bat that he Still pushed stopped. the count to three and two and made Both the pitcher work, but I think he'd like to have that three two pitch back. Pretty sure that was ball four he went after. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Jones is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. Up next for the Angels, the right fielder, Dexter Fowler. Here's Dexter Fowler now. Career numbers against Julio Tehran. He has a 3 for 12 line. Two out, nobody on. On the ground and right at the shifted infielders. Taken in by Scope, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Nothing doing here this half. We'll look ahead to inning number eight now, and we are tied 2-2. So that'll bring up Jonathan Scope. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. One and two now. 
into the windup and the pitch. Still one and two. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Good job of making him chase a pitch for the strikeout there. Yeah, Matt, that's the advantage of getting ahead in the count. You can really force hitters to expand their zone and protect. And when they're in that mode, getting them to go after a pitch they can't do much with becomes a lot easier. And that one yanked just foul. Bases are empty, one man out. And he fouls this one off. I know that fastball registered at about 92, 93, but I guarantee you it looked about four to five miles an hour faster than that for this offensive player. After coming off a curveball, the old push the throttle and pull it is being used. Trout is there now, and he has it two gone. The right field, number 15, no more Mazzara. In now the power hitting outfielder Nomar Mazzara. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Bases are empty here with two men out. And it's fouled away. Swing and a miss on a ball way outside the strike zone, and the inning is over. Down in order go the Tigers. Score remains 2-2. Two to two. Bottom of inning number eight set to go, and that'll bring in the second baseman, David Fletcher. Set to deal. Here's the 3-1. Weak roller right side. Throw to first is in time for the first down. Now back the designated hitter, Johan Otani. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Shohei Otani. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. That was a big strike out there, guys. The best pitchers have the ability to strike guys out when they really need to, and that second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. In now, Mike Trout. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Bat explodes as this has popped up. Boy, when things are good, things are going really good. How about a swinging bunt infield single right there for his third knock of the game, d -Row. Yeah, he has to be feeling frisky right now. He's had two great at-bats, and then this one... He's 100% on fire. Getting an infield single for his third knock of the game, that's awesome. At the plate now, Anthony Rendon. Two out with the possible go-ahead run at first. On a line, that's a base hit. And that's going to move that go-ahead run to second now with two gone. Well, when you're going as well as he is, not even a two-strike count is going to get in your way. Yeah, Matty, he's having a monster season, well over 300. Right there, when you're feeling that confident at the plate, it doesn't matter what the count is. You're willing to go deep and still feel confident. Taylor Ward will come on now and pinch run here. To the plate now, Justin Upton. A ball and two strikes now. Well, the Angels have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. Sent on the ground out to second. 
Scope has it. Throw on to first will be in time, and a good chance for the Angels goes for naught as the side is retired. Angels strand a couple. Score remains deadlocked at 2-2. Taylor Ward is going to go ahead and stay in the ball game and play third now. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that brings in Miguel Cabrera. Grounder hit hard down the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Swing and a line drive on a base hit. So a great start to the ninth as the possible go-ahead run is aboard to kick off the inning. I'm shocked he got to that pitch right there. In today's game of loading up, leg kicks, toe taps, dropping the hands, trying to create launch angle, that high heater usually gets by. Oh, and here's a drive. Well hit out to straightaway center. Trout. It's on the warning track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Now batting. Catcher. Ronnie Freeman. Next to hit, Ronnie Freeman. There's one away. The runner at first represents the potential go-ahead score. Double play is in order, however. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Possible go-ahead runs on first, one away. And this ball is popped up, drifting back behind the mound. Fletcher has to shade his eyes from the sun, but he stays with it for round number two. Next to the Tiger, the center fielder, Victor Reyes. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Victor Reyes. There are two gone and the possible go-ahead run at first. The one-and-one one pitch. Liner towards second. Well, this will be pulled in out there at second base, and that'll be that. Tigers leave one, and this game is still tied at two and two. Nico Goodrum is into the ball game now as he'll take over out in left field. So here is Jared Walsh flew out last time up. Tehran sets. Here comes the three and two. Grounder down the line at third. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. And that misses here. Ball four. And of all things, it's a leadoff walk that puts the winning run on base to start the bottom half. Man, when the game is tied, the last thing you can afford to do is walk the leadoff hitter. Got to focus on getting that ground ball now. And now for the Angels, Max Stassi. The winning run is at first base. And he'll try and get that winning run into scoring position as he puts this one down. And he'll just beat the throw to second. He's in there. Well, he took a risk with the decision to throw to second instead of taking the sure out at first. Not sure if someone was yelling for him to go to second, but we know now it was the wrong call. Here's the shortstop now, Jose Iglesias. Not much in the way of productivity from him so far, but he's got a chance to come through here in a crucial spot. Yeah, it's time now that he has to put the rest of those bats behind it because none of that matters if he can clutch up when it really counts. One there. Well, he'll put this in his pocket and be content with just the one out. The right field. Dexter. Next, here is Dexter Fowler. He's looking to bring home the winning run from third. The one-and-one one pitch. 
That's on the corner to put him behind now. One and two. Big pitch coming up right here. He'd love for a ground ball or a strikeout. To two balls and two strikes now. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. David Fletcher will be next. Swing and a fly ball, and that should be deep enough to end it. And a high bounce will take it over the outfield wall, and this ball game is over. Always great when a game really comes down to the ninth inning like it did here. They had a chance to walk it off and send their fans home happy, and that's exactly what they did. Lots of smiles around here right now. A one run game this afternoon three to two the final finish Los Angeles came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win Patrick Sandoval claims the win out of the pen his first so that just about does it for Mark DeRosa Dan Plezak Heidi Watney down on the field and the rest of our crew I'm Matt Vaskersian thanks for watching MLB Network.